Well, now all these power uh, surges have messed this fridge up. Thanks, Coslo. You've ruined a really, really good fridge. I have to unplug it and plug it back in every couple hours so that it'll still run. The power surges fried it. What 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 do we do? We get Fortis to pay for it? Yeah, right. They jack the price on electricity so high you can't afford it. And then they have all these power outages because they won't cut the trees down that are close to the power lines. I mean, it's ridiculous. We're, I hear every time the power goes out, somebody's saying, Oh, they're heroes. Look at them go out. Yeah, they look, look at them go out and get double pay for going out at night, spending 10 hours doing their job that they should have done months ago. I mean, spring through fall, they could be cutting trees down that are close to the line. It'd be no problem at all. There's a hundred logging companies here that are out of business. Come on, a million bloody loggers around. Unreal. So what happened was back in the day, I think I said this on another video, actually. Yeah, I was walking up the falls. They used, we used to make power here. And then West Kootenai Power made power. And then uh, BC Hydro put in that dam that never, did, they never did anything with it. They put a bunch of turbines in it, never turned it on. It's still sitting there. That was in the 60s. So Fortis, oh yeah, so BC Hydro has other dams, of course. Uh, Las Vegas owed them a million dollars or something back in about 1990 and they couldn't pay for some reason so Fortis had to come and buy them out it didn't work quite like that there was Aquila and a couple others in between but all these power companies now we're owned by an American power company this is Canada we have an American power company that charges us like six times what it should be honestly uh, we can't afford to heat our homes here. It's ridiculous. And then the power, uh, the price of wood went way up. So we can't afford to do that either. Unreal. Um, uh, look outside. I got a one lane goat trail outside my house instead of this normal nice road it's supposed to be. Because uh, taxes aren't enough, apparently. They don't have enough money to plow the roads. There's like four feet of snow out there. Ridiculous. I'm, getting, I'm just so sick of it. When does it end? When will we all get together and say, I've had enough of this? It's, life is not supposed to cost a million bloody dollars of fucking... Oops. <laughs> It's not supposed to be this expensive. Like, get real. It's not supposed to be anything, really. But why? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. Because you can. Oh, because we can. Because we're Walmart or we're fucking Canadian Tire or whatever the hell we are. And we got to jack the prices when we can. And because we're oil companies. Yeah, the oil companies are all American. Americans come up and steal all our oil. Say that we're not allowed to work in the oil field if we smoke weed. We can do cocaine, meth, ecstasy, anything like that's fine. But if you smoke a joint, you can't work in the oil field, period. Unreal. <laughs> it's Canada. We, we have the, we're allowed to smoke weed. Nope. It's an American company. Smoking weed after work or on the weekends, that's dangerous. Smoking meth yesterday, that's okay. Cocaine three days ago? Yeah, fine. That's okay. Unreal, guys. We're in trouble. Gallon of milk is how much? Almost $7. Gas is uh, buck sixty or something a liter. Crazy. So if you Americans want to do the math on that, that's uh, 3.8 liters. So... 1.6 times 3.8 and there's your gallon we're in trouble guys we are in trouble oh, okay enough of that i'm a little bit angry about my fridge being wrecked and them not plowing the streets in caslow
power always going out. We had to buy a generator. I mean, this is like the 80s again. Unreal. So cut those damn trees down, Fortis. Come on, you took over a contract. Get your shit in gear. That's what we used to do in the old days. Cut the bloody trees down, they didn't fall on the lines. Just stupid. Anyway, rant ended for now.